severe mental illness, that's uh, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and the more severe cases of major depression. And uh, it is part of going earlier in age that also makes us think transdiagnostically, not just of one of these diagnoses, but across the range of, of, pro of big problems. Uh, you know, these three conditions together, they, they cost Canada more than all types of cancer combined. They are such a huge uh, health issue. And, uh, and that's because they start out in life and they continue affecting people throughout their life. And they, they, they affect the people themselves, their families, the society. It, it was a surprise that, for example, hallucinations are actually quite common in childhood. They are actually more common in children than they are in adults. And although most, most children grow out of them in terms of they do stop ex having these strange experiences, the hallucinations in childhood are still a predictor of schizophrenia in adults. So asking the 10, 11 year olds about whether they have unusual experiences um, brings material that helps us identify who may be at risk at a time where there's still plenty of time to change that trajectory for the better. Seventy percent of people as adults who have mental health problems and illnesses say they first experience symptoms as children and youth. So if we can intervene early on, then that will alleviate the pressure on the system uh, in, into adulthood.